All right, what do we have on our list here? Fix solar snailer wires, number one. Let's go do that. Okay, you have a pair of wire nuts. Let's put some Vaseline in them. Some petroleum jelly. Here, put a uh, sticky finger in there and smush some into these. Because that will keep water off the electrical connections. Just stick your finger right in. It does, it's not poisonous or anything. Is it from Fill them. Fill these with, with Vaseline. Come on, fill it up. Yeah, I'm doing Jam your, no, get, get a lot, get a lot. Yeah, stick that in there. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, like it's an ice cream cone and just smush it in there. <laughs> yeah, and then fill up this one too. That's good. See, this way, if any water gets into the wire nuts, it won't get to the wires and mess up the connections. Okay, the issue we're fixing right now is I have a loose connection on the boat, which is the wires that go to the motor. It's kind of an important set of wires. And it's because the boat was originally, not originally, Bells, you wanna close the door? Close the door. Um, the last time I upgraded the boat, it had a motor that had this silly click connector, this silly Chinese click connector thing. And you know, it's supposed to be all convenient and nice, but then the motor broke, so I lost the connector on that end. So when I replaced it with this beat up old motor, which amazingly still works, it, 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 hold on, let me get in here. This motor did not have the hold on, let me just put the motor in the water so this is up. Okay, there we go. So this motor does not have the fancy blue connector that connects to this. So I just kind of jammed the wires in there and they stick pretty well, but at some point this part cracked. So now I need to make a real connection, you know. Uh, so I guess I really have two options. Well, I have a lot of options, but... Well, we could cut this thing off and make some screw-on connectors, like a... Uh, Basically, attach some things like these to those wires, and then bolt them together. No, we can't do that. <laughs> we already got the, the wire nuts out, so we have to use them? Alright, so the other option is, is cut these off, strip the wires a little bit, and then do the same thing here. Oh crap, which one was... Okay, this is the negative. I just have to make sure I keep track when I disconnect them. Are those are those wire nuts going to be big enough for these wires though? Where are, you, where are your nuts? Hold one next to this. Mm, we can try it. I think if we cut those off, they're gone. All right, let me let me take a good look at this. Wait a second. If I just drill a hole, this is this is from out of this connector. It's got this big copper thing on it. If I just drill a hole through this, then I can bolt it onto there, and you are protesting. We already got the wire nuts out. We already got the wire nuts out. Well, we'll use them again. We can just put them somewhere where the Vaseline won't fall out of them. I think this would be better. Because the other thing is, we may end up using this motor on the, the new boat. We should. In which case, well, I guess we could undo wire nuts anyway. Oh, nice, cut my wrist. Um, but yeah, if we bolt it, we'll be able to easily unbolt it. I, I think we should bolt it. Mm. No, I'll just drill holes in this, and this has the same kind of connection, I think. Back let's just suck. do them one at a time, so it... Maybe. All right, let's do that. All right. I think we can still use this thing to just keep the wires spread apart so they don't touch each other. I did make a couple of these inside that I was gonna do that with, but uh, yeah, I think this will actually be better. So let's just drill some holes through here. And hopefully this fits the thing over there. Good enough. 
Oh, it's the other side of the ring. Alright. Well, that should be pretty good. Alright. That should be a pretty good connection. That's not going to come loose. Alright, that's that boat taken care of. And I would have tested it, except my solar panels are all closed right now. I'm pretty sure it's fine. And it, if you drive backwards... Yeah, then we know it, I put it on the wrong way. Yeah.